Sony was trying their hand at their own universe. Here are the Sony movies that we could have seen had Spider-Man not made his way back to Marvel. So while we eventually did get a Venom movie, it was not what was originally envisioned. So beginning back in 2012, Sony Pictures began discussing a spin-off film for the famous symbiote. By 2013, the plans were updated and they think Spider-Man 2 was being viewed as the launching pad for potential spin-offs. This version of a Venom movie would be released after the Amazing Spider-Man 3 that was set for a May 27, 2016 release, but before Amazing Spider-Man 4. And after the financial disappointments that was Amazing Spider-Man 2, Sony began changing all of its plans and the version of Venom was scrapped and the concept completely changed to see the film we eventually saw released. So while Venom was still being drawn up as a concept, far more concrete plans were in place for a Sinister Six movie. During the credits of Amazing Spider-Man 2, we saw the Oscorp lab and mechanical items that were being built for Doc Ock, the Vulture, and Rhino. There were also hints to Mysterio and Kraven the Hunter, with Green Goblin serving as the leader. The plan actually called for the film to not include Spider-Man at all, and the movie would serve as an origin story for all of the villains teaming up. The movie continued to be in development for some time, but following the announcement of Sony Pictures and Marvel Studios agreeing to a new Spider-Man series, the film was put on indefinite hold. And there's been talk from time to time that it could be revived, be said in the MCU, but it's been several years since that rumor last popped up. Silver and Black has been kicking around Sony Pictures in 2017. The film was set to focus on the characters of Silver Sable and Black Cat. If you don't know those characters, Silver Sable is a world-renowned mercenary that's run up against Spider-Man a ton of times. Black Cat is a well-known cat burger that has been romantically entangled with Spider-Man on several different occasions. Nothing was known about the plot of the film, but the project has now gone through several concepts. And at one point, it was just going to become a TV project. Then it converted into solo films for both characters. Then it back to the two of them together for a little bit. Now the project appears to be shelled, but other projects such as Morbius and Craven the Hunter uh, get worked on. Also, Spider-Man 29-9 film. Not much was ever stated about this movie, but it was amongst the numerous projects that were announced like around that time. With the character slated to gain some recognition in Across the Spider-Verse Part 1, and the multiverse having been firmly established, I wouldn't be too surprised to see this one actually come back to development at some point. And no list of Spider-Man films be complete without mentioning the rumored Aunt May film. So the Spider-Man films established that Peter Parker's parents held some sort of secrets from him. This is apparently going to play into the idea that Aunt May had been a spy in her younger days and would establish a whole new history for the character. So when this rumor first surfaced back in 2014, uh, Sony denied it was in the works. That, however, hasn't stopped the film from becoming a total punchline amongst fans. Although so many movies have been canceled, there's still plenty to look forward to when it comes to Spider-Man films. So the long-rumored Madam Web movie is now reportedly going to begin filming at the end of 2022. Olivia Wilde is still slated to direct a Spider-Man movie, and the Silk TV series reportedly in the works for Amazon Prime. 